Hello love evil and welcome back to Vlogmas. So we are currently packing for tomorrow we go on our first family trip away. So previously we've stayed away for one night with Rupert in a hotel when he was 12 weeks old in London when I was collecting an award at an award show um, and he woke up every single hour because we're going on a family trip to Bath. The very quaint, very lovely historic city of Bath. If you do not know your English geography, which very much not expecting you to, it's about two and a half to three hours from where we live depending on traffic. Depending on traffic, because we have to drive past Stonehenge, the motorway is right next to it um, and people slow down to look at the rocks. We're staying in this little uh, countryside hotel. It's really cute, very quirky, traditional country lodge type vibes, but also with like modern art and ooh, we're very excited. Going to see how that blends together. Kind of nervous. Rupert's really got into his nighttime routine, sleeping very well now, wakes up once in the night for a feed. We've decided um, that we're just going to take his bed. If it works, it works, right? We're going to see my brother, which I'm really excited about. Rupert hasn't seen his uncle since he was three weeks old, so it's going to be really wonderful, really magical just to see him in his arms. We've timed the drive to coincide with Rupert's naps, so he's going to do a nap. We'll take a break, walk around, stretch our legs, get some food, do a change. It's going to be wonderful. Yep. Yeah, Brilliant. He sleeps in the car. Literally, you just put him in the car and he's like out like a light. As always, I am completely proud and grateful of Claudia for driving the entire way because I can't drive. Working on that though, I'm going to get driving lessons. I mean, just because I failed eight times doesn't mean I can't, you know, fail a ninth time. <laughs> She's made herself a Christmassy playlist and I have a new game to play. To keep myself entertained on the long drive, I'm playing my newest favorite mobile game, Switchcraft. <gasps> I do, but I have 4G because you know, English countryside, patchy. Nothing is gonna stop me from enjoying. Excellent game with both LGBTQ plus and disability representation, however. As you know, I'm a big moaner about the lack of diverse representation in old media. So it's really great to see how far new media is just pushing the boundaries. And I'm really excited to say that Switchcraft also agreed to be the sponsor of today's video. You're gonna love it. So Switchcraft features TV level writing. It's this gripping mystery story about modern day witches with this young, strong female protagonist who is on this big mission to solve the disappearance of her best friend. Da, da, da. What's the mystery? Oh my god, as a creative person, I, I really enjoy the kind of choose your own adventure things. Do you remember when choose your own adventures were just books? I spent a lot of time on those books. Generally imagining that the characters were gay, so this game is just, you know, ticking all of my boxes. And with thousands of levels in Magical Match 3, the fun is endless. And if you like graphic novels, you're also gonna love the visuals here. It is so aesthetically pleasing. I'm blown away by it. I just love an aesthetic game. You two can unlock this magical mystery. Just click the link in the description down below to download the game for free now. You'll be supporting my channel and having a lot of fun too. Um, I've also managed to pack his bath. Why do we do this to ourselves? What's, what's wrong with us? Why do we give the baby a bath every single night? Does he need it? Now he started smushing food across his face? Yes. Yes, he definitely does need a bath every single night. Weather's probably going to be rainy. Uh, not too much snow. Although, wait, no, I think I'm hoping for snow. I want snow. Yes, give me snow for my baby. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, can you just picture it? Picture the photos. Uh, but we, we also don't want too much snow because I don't actually have enough meds to take you away with me and then get trapped somewhere because they're controlled substances. And I have to go to the pharmacy all the freaking time to get my prescription refilled. Okay, so let's go and continue packing and then go on a journey. Ooh. I'll give you a tour of our lovely hotel room. Okay, come in through the delightful hallway slash atrium. Is that what we're calling it? Yes. You have a lovely ship's mirror. Da -da 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 -da. Now, we can come straight into our lovely bathroom. Oh, we've got a gorgeous standing shower here. 
for Mummy because we know she loves a shower and a bath. Mama does love baths and so do you, little Roo. And Mama was very clever, wasn't she? Because she managed to pack your baby bath. Oh, they're interesting, isn't they? She's like, whoa, it's on both sides. Oh my god. Yeah, there's one playing a violin in the middle of a flower. That one's got a telescope. Now we come into the actual bedroom part. This rather fabulous headboard. Look at this. Now that is really something there, isn't it, Ruth? It is. That's where Mummy and Mama are going to be sleeping. This is not where you're going to be sleeping. Uh, we tried to take it apart, but we struggled. <laughs> very kindly left us a cot. Um, but we actually brought Rupert's floor bed. So we tried to take this apart, but... We don't know how. Um. <laughs> I managed that bit. I've either broken it or solved it. <laughs> to be concluded. We'll find out later. Whee! And there's a gorgeous sitting area over here. I feel like we're mad men. We've ordered room service and they were quiet enough that they have not worked in Rupert. Hello, you look very attractive in this outfit. Hello, she looks attractive. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Please excuse our husky voices. I know. We both got a little bit coughs and colds. Also, we had... That's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't want to stay the hotel because it's really nice, but like, yeah, we have feather pillows. It's funny. You can say something. I like, think feather pillows are like... Hotel is classed delightful, as, like, but they have feather pillows. Yeah, I think feather pillows are classed as like a luxury because lots of people, all hotels tend to have feather pillows and yes, we're always... Other people seem to really like feather we're pillows. We're always like... We're allergic. We're just allergic to things. <laughs> we're allergic to everything. We're doing. We're very atopic people. I know. I was thinking that last night. I was like, we're really difficult people. We're gluten free, lactose free. We're allergic to. We're allergic to dust. We're allergic to. Uh, we're allergic to feathers. <laughs> I'm allergic to trees, so what are you I'm allergic to? up that one. I mean, poor Rupert's covered in eczema already. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> he had a good sleep, didn't he? That's what we were actually yeah, going to talk about. Yeah, so we were actually going to say it went really well. First night went like a charm. We basically went through, we were quite worried that, you know, we're in a different space. We've never slept away from home. Will his, like, good sleeping habits, like, go to pot? Mm. Um, and we didn't really know what going to pot would mean. Like, what does that mean? Waking up every hour, crying, or, you know, just like, ooh. I think, actually, I was quite calm. I wasn't that, actually that anxious about it when it actually came to it. Because I, uh. I could sense he was tired because he was yawning. And we didn't get here till 5.30, so, and he had a long nap in the car. Yeah, we pushed back. He normally goes to bed, a like, he normally is asleep by 7, but last night he was asleep by 8. It was only, like, an hour later. So we just went through the motions. We did, we did dinner for him we just like sat him in my lap on the chair and fed him we do like to do the baby led like weaning where he like kind of tries to feed himself but we didn't want to get our furniture <laughs> messy so. we were in a hotel room yeah and we were like <coughs> spoon feeding it is yeah, so we did the traditional spoon feeding he was quite happy with that and um he doesn't really seem to mind to be honest he just as long food. as food gets into his mouth <laughs> and, there you are. and then we did story time Bath. Story time. Bath. Um, because Just Mama managed to pack his entire the bath, bath yeah. and bath toys. And then we put him in, and I dimmed the lights as much as I could while we could still function. Jessica basically went night night, hid in the bathroom. Because she would normally leave the situation at this point. Um, I made him his bottle of milk. Um, and he gets kind of sleeping with his milk. And then, um, and then we bought his mattress, his entire mattress, <laughs> his floor bed. We bought that. Which is good because they did provide a travel cot, but like you said, I think he would have just been like, where, what is this? Exactly. He's never slept in that kind of situation before. Mm. He'd be like, what? 
Yeah. Why am I caged? So they tried to keep it on? as familiar as possible and it worked. And um, it took about a little bit longer to settle than he would at home. But I didn't have to in- go in and soothe him or anything. I sort of sat on the sofa like where he couldn't see me. And I could hear him tossing and turning and getting distracted by the wallpaper a little bit. Like scratching it because it's very yeah. busy. Look, do you have the wallpaper? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, you've seen the wallpaper before. Yeah, but like no, within 10 minutes he was to sleep. And then he woke up at yeah. half, hey. he woke at 20 past 10, which he normally does for his dream feed before we went to sleep. And then we went to sleep. And then he woke up at 2.30 for his other middle of the night feed. And then he woke up at 6.30, but I ignored him. And then he carried on sleeping till 7.30. And then I was like, perfect, let's get up. Yay. And now we're waiting for our breakfast. Woo-hoo. So hopefully, so we... fingers crossed, tonight will be the same. So if you're confused, we call that one wake up a night. <laughs> Yeah, we don't include the uh, ten thirty. <laughs> Let's show, show him. Show them. Hello. You had a good night's sleep, didn't you, little trooper? Yeah, I did well. <laughs> good job. Let's show them the, uh, your floor space. And this is his sleep space. His floor bed, his sleep bag, his bear, and his BB. BB is that little like. Peacock. Peacock muslin thing. Yeah, this is lovely. Yeah, that came to the hospital when he was born and everything. Mm. This is a glass table, so I put like a um, towel there just in case he kind of whacked his arm against it. Um, I mean, he's not really close enough to do that, but still. Safety first, people. <laughs> Excuse my unwashed hair. You know what we have at the hotel room? Dyson hair dryer. <laughs> Jessica bought herself a Dyson hair dryer after going to the hairdressers. And I've been, I'm the only one that's used it so far. I've used it, it, I've used it like three times. And I hate blow drying. Now they've got a baby and it's cold. You have to just you dry it and get on with life because you've got things to do. You can't just sit around and wait for it to dry naturally. And you've got to take your time, take your time whenever it is, like, you know, whenever it's 6 a.m. in the take morning or, like, you know, to wash your hair. Anyway, I've been using Why it. Why have you washed your hair at 6 a.m. in the morning? Yeah, okay, fine, that was You're exaggerating slightly. Like you wash your hair, it's slowly, delightfully. Yeah, because I only wash it, like, every two weeks. wonderful, <laughs> Anyway, the point is, I have shower washed my whilst hair. I look after the child, like, don't. I washed my hair today and I blow dried it. And it's really nice. Like, it's, it's like the first time, gorgeous. like, a blow dryer. A hair dryer even that, has, that I've done myself has worked and not made my hair go really frizzy and feel horrible and then I normally have to just tie it up and I don't like it for like yeah. at least a day or two until it calms down so it just makes it go more but this Dyson one is just like it does we haven't worked out though please help in the comments um how to make your hair it's normal wavy state well there are lots of things like there's a With, yeah because it just kind of goes it makes it straight isn't it straight but then it does go back to its normal state by itself because you can't keep a curly haired girl down but um, when i dry it i think i'm because i'm drying it the fastest way possible because again i'm not i've not suddenly become a girly girl where i'm like i love blow drying my hair and it's like it's just more out of like ease can't take the top of a girl so i've gone for the fastest thing that dries it without making it go frizz yeah Although, once you'd used it, oh, it's a Bichon! <laughs> Did you see it? I uh, think you saw it. <laughs> you just saw a little camera shake. <laughs> Whenever we see Bichons though, we do that. Bichon, Bichon! <laughs> We're actually on the way to go and see my brother! Yeah, we were going to go to our place where we got married. And then we we'll walk going around to. there. Yes, and maybe like recreate some photos with the <laughs> We'd literally just stand in what the same What part position. would he play? He wasn't there before. <laughs> So instead of just going into the centre of Bristol, we're going to the SS Great Britain, which Claudia thought might be a shopping centre. <laughs> well, I don't know. Jessica's like, we're going. I said, where are we going to park the car? She says, the SS Great Britain. I said, is that a shopping centre? She's like, no, it is a boat. I'm like, oh, how would I know we're going to park our car on a boat? Um, I think the name gives it away. Not really. It's just SS. It's just SS, and then the name of the country. Here's a historical interlude to some history about the SS Great Britain. Enjoy.
how exciting! Food waste and straw. Oh look, these crisp packets claim to be compostable. Mm. We're testing it out. It's probably lies to make you buy it because you think you're being a good person by buying compostable things. Oh, thanks for that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've gone out for our morning stroll with Rupert around the hotel grounds. Currently we're just in the car park, obviously. Um, but there's my beautiful vibe. Looking rather dapper today with her Jules Wellies country and her little Sybil from uh, Downton Abbey hat. It's so cute, it goes so well with the jacket. It's like literally the same colour. It was like a a special find that we found in TK Maxx. In TK Maxx. <laughs> oh my God, like amazing. <laughs> we had to do an emergency pit stop to like, because he was like falling asleep and it wasn't his nap time. And I was like, it's gonna ruin the whole evening. I mean, the whole evening was, we, anyway, never mind. <laughs> like, <laughs> the evening was <laughs> not. We stopped at TK Maxx so that he would stay awake and alert because TK Maxx is very stimulating, not just for him, but for everybody. And we found these hats. I got this one, it's 100% wool. <laughs> And I love it. And Jessica got her like her little Selby hat. Yeah, Selby. yeah. Selby. Sybil. <laughs> Sybil hat. Sybil yeah. hat. Indeed, indeed. And you look gorgeous. I look gorgeous. You do, and it really matches your little bag. She's got a new bag from Jules. Look at it. It's so cute. Look at her, her little country. Oh, you got a, oh, so that's a country walk. Huh? I've never seen you do that walk before. <laughs> what is that? Now you're walking country. I see. Um, doesn't doesn't seem no. really feel like no. it to me, no. We're off to go find a village pub. Yeah, I would have liked to walk there, but it's a bit drizzly. It's not the nicest of days. Oh, Claudia, you're making me miss the beautiful houses. I've just got a hedge. It's a nicely trimmed hedge, though. Oh, it is, yes. So, of the house. I really love that all the houses around here are the same colour. Oh. Yeah, every house around here is in the same bath stone colour, and I really appreciate that. That you know, is truly on brand. for a pub that is actually open it's because uh, not not finding any not having much luck <laughs> yeah this is, not, this is not Brighton no problem on the plus side this extra car journey is allowing Rupert to have his much needed nap this is lunchtime nap time because he has a, an acute ability when he smells food now to just wake up and be like get my lap on <laughs> Oh my god, this child just eats and yeah. eats and eats. She's park. <laughs> oh, does that mean don't park in it? <laughs> How would you park in it as a wall? <laughs> it just means maybe people are going into the shrubbery area. Then they've had one too many pints, they're like, I'm going into the shrubbery. <laughs> I'm going in over the wall. Ooh, there we go. I love the word shrubbery. It just reminds do? me of um, Monty Python. I don't remember, but they like. It was a tiny shrubbery. <laughs> There's a part in it about a shrubbery. Have to love a pub that comes with trivia cards on the table. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Rupert, you've got to help your mother now. Yeah. She clearly needs it. How often are brain cells replaced? Never. <laughs> Correct. Ooh, nice. Lovely, that's exactly the weather you want to get out in with a six month old child. The 33 year old woman who's going to throw a little strop as well. <gasps> I am 32. <laughs> Maybe I'll talk about myself. Oh, yeah, you're still 33. Yeah, I'm not officially 34 until, you know, Thursday, Thursday the 2nd of December. <laughs> I like being in my 30s. I think so far it's been one of the best decades of my life. Aww. I mean, I've only lived three, but like, you know. <laughs> this is my fourth decade. Wait, yeah, you're in your fourth decade. 
I would agree that my 30s have been the best decade of my life so far. Yes. We've had a baby, we've got a house, and every year of it has been spent with you. Oh. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad, feel it too. Nothing to hide. our last morning. I think Rupert's quite happy <laughs> and we'll blame that on why he woke up four times last night and not the fact that he uh, missed his last nap yesterday. Because the night before he only woke up once slept like a trooper. Last night he woke up four times. He woke up at like 1.45 and then didn't go to sleep till 7.30 because we were bad mummies. Oh, that's I not fair. I tried to put him, we just mistimed things. I think we were tired ourselves. Yeah. We didn't organise it as well as we did the other couple of days. Yeah. Because we just wanted to come back and rest in the hotel room, but... Long story. It... <laughs> we, we put him in his buggy. We were like, maybe he'll sleep in there. But then we were like, ah, oh, maybe we should move the buggy. But we've got to take him out the buggy to put more we clothes on him. If we move the buggy. Oh, yeah. And then the whole like, cold and then... England indoor, outdoor different number of clothes on the baby thing is not helpful because you have to move the baby and then that wakes the baby and then oh, oh. pleased about that aren't you Ruby? yeah we're gonna go home we're gonna go home to our house and you can sleep uh next to a white wall rather than i mean this wallpaper is epic and i love it but perhaps not the most calming environment <laughs> but right next to your bed to be honest Cutest coat you've ever seen. So adorable. That's right. Hang it. Oh. Hang it there. Oh. Oh. We're in Bath. Yeah, we're in Bath. Look, they've got their. I don't know if you can see, but they've got their Christmas lights up. Than planned. Not the worst we've ever done. It's actually a pretty nice service station. Wow. It's the nicest area for a service station I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a KFC. <laughs> okay, so the building, the inside maybe not. Yeah, but... Trees though. Yeah! Gorgeous. Okay, British friends, um, please agree with me down in the comments. This is one of the nicest looking areas for a service station you've ever seen. Not, not behind me, don't look at that. Oh, hello. 